tidal gravity forces between the Earth and the Moon cause the tides to rise and fall, creating two high tides and two low tides every day. These tidal forces are essential to life on Urantia. Many species rely on the tides for breeding and feeding. Even humans rely on the tides for fishing and harvesting for food. The influences of these tidal gravity forces exist well beyond Urantia and have many effects throughout the universe. When the space age began in the 1960s and 70s, we had no idea what we would find out there. Many scientists believed we would find cold, dead worlds like our moon orbiting the other planets. We were wrong. When we got to Io, we found the most geologically active body in the solar system. Due to tidal gravity, friction, and heating, Io is currently home to over 400 active volcanoes. That was just the beginning of discovery in the Jovian system. We then found cracks on Europa. which led to the discovery of hydrothermal vents. And a liquid ocean entombed in ice. The Galileo spacecraft discovered evidence of ancient ice flows on Ganymede. While studying auroras on Ganymede, the Hubble Space Telescope discovered evidence of a saltwater ocean beneath the surface. Estimates indicate it contains four times more water than all the oceans on Earth. Callisto also has a saltwater ocean beneath its crest. More activity was discovered on Saturn's moon Enceladus in the form of cryovolcanism and ice geysers. Theories exist of cryovolcanism and a subsurface liquid ocean on Titan, partially caused by tidal gravity forces between Titan and Saturn. Even as far out as Pluto, we find geological activity. All of this unexpected activity in the outer solar system is due to tidal gravity forces. Besides warming cold outer worlds, tidal gravity forces have effects throughout the universe on a larger scale. The Urantia book describes the unique formation of our solar system as a tidal gravity event. Some tidal gravity events lead to disruptions. The Urantia book tells us Saturn's rings were formed by a disrupted satellite. The Urantia book also explains that the asteroid belt was once a planet that was disrupted by tidal forces between it and Jupiter. In 1992, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 got too close to Jupiter and was disrupted by tidal gravity forces. In 1994, astronomers around the world watched as over 20 fragments of the comet crashed into Jupiter. The universe is full of wonders, and we hope you enjoyed exploring them with us. Subscribe to our channel and explore more Urantia Book Science and History. Thanks for watching.